Credenza is designed to adapt to your needs, allowing you to set defaults, adjust billing rates, file types, and automate actions to increase your efficiency. This tutorial will teach you how to make Credenza work the way you want it to. Most of the tools for customizing Credenza can be found in the Options dialog. Here you will find tabs for Preferences and Setup. The items you customize under Setup will be the same for all members of your work group, while the choices you make under Preferences apply just to you. There are many things you can customize for managing your files in Credenza. The most basic of these is what you call them. This is something you set up when you first installed Credenza, but you can change this terminology at any time using the setting under the Setup tab of the Options dialog. As you manage your files, it can be useful to categorize them into different types. A list of file types is provided, but it is fully customizable. You can do this using the File Types button under the Setup tab of the Options dialog. Click the New button to add a new file type. Type in its name, and then click Apply. To change an existing name, select it, click Edit, make your change, and then click Apply. Use the Move Up and Move Down buttons to change the place where an item appears in the list. If your list is long, or you want to break it down into sections, click this to add a separator, and then move it to where you want to in the list. You can specify a default file type that new files will be assigned to when they are first created. Set your preference for this under the Preferences tab of the Options dialog. You can still change the type for each file as you create it, but if you commonly use one file type, this is a great way to save time. When you relate contacts to a file in Credenza, you can indicate what the role of each contact is within the context of that file. A list of typical roles is provided for you, but again you can change this list to include whatever roles are helpful in your profession. This is done using the File Roles button under the Setup tab of the Options dialog. You can see that this dialog looks just like the one for file types. All the dialogs for customizing credenza lists work in the same way, so it is easy to use them once you get going. One of the biggest things you can customize on files is that you can add custom fields to track whatever you want on each different type of file. This is done within the file itself, and is explained in the Managing Files tutorial video. Tracking your time can be made even easier when you customize your time entries. Firstly, there are basics, like whether you prefer to record your time in minutes or tenths of an hour. To set this, go to the Preferences tab of the Options window and click the Time Entry Options button. Here you can also set a minimum duration for a time entry, and what increment of time an entry should round to when it is posted. Next, it is useful to identify the billing status of a file or time entry. You may want to define a number of types of billing status, as this can help you to categorize where your time is going. You can customize this list using the Billing Status button under the Setup tab of the Options dialog. Again, this list can be edited in the standard way. When you do a time entry, you need to know what billing rate to apply to it. There are two aspects to this. Firstly, to create a list of the names of your different billing rates, and secondly, to supply your hourly charge for each of those rates. This is done in different places, because the list of rates applies to everyone in your work group while the hourly charges for each rate can be different for each person. Customize the list of billing rates using the Billing Rates button under the Setup tab of the Options dialog. Note that at the bottom of the list you can set which of the rates will be used by default when a new time entry is created. Then specify your hourly charge for each of the named billing rates using the Billing Rate Values button under the Preferences tab of the Options dialog. Activity codes can be a helpful addition to your time entries. When you use them, they add a short code to your time entry, which can then be used by your accounting system to classify or analyze the types of work you do on a detailed level. They can also be used to drive special rates for a given time entry. If you want your time entries to include activity codes, check this box. Customize the list of activity codes using this button. Note that for each item in the list, you can specify the code that is passed to accounting, and, if you want, what special rate should be applied when this activity code is used. Some professionals use task codes in addition to activity codes. If you want these on your time entries, check this box. 
Credenza not only creates time entries, it also allows you to post them electronically. Many accounting systems can import these posted timesheets, or you can simply export them into Excel. However, different accounting systems require timesheets to be formatted in different ways, so Credenza allows you to customize the format it exports to be sure that your accounting program can import them. The Accounting Templates section under the Setup tab of the Options dialog is where you configure this. If you use QuickBooks or Time Slips, just select them here in the list. If you use something else, choose Custom, and then click the Configure Accounting button. The wizard takes you through the simple steps and explains everything as you go through it. Finally, you'll need to identify where you want your timesheets to be put so that they can be imported by your accounting system. To do this, go to the Preferences tab of the Options window and click the Time Entry Options button. Click the Browse button at the bottom and choose the folder where you want your timesheets to go. Credenza can be very helpful in reminding you to do time entries. Under the Preferences tab of the Options window, click the Time Entry Options button. Here you can set preferences about how much help you want Credenza to give you in providing these reminders, including having it automatically do them every time for you. One of the most useful preferences in managing email involves having Credenza automatically save all emails to or from a given contact to their file. To do this, just open an email from them, select the file you want their email saved on, and then click the checkbox at the bottom. If this email was to more than one person, you can select which people get auto-saved. When you click OK, all emails to or from that person in the future will be saved to their file. Note that once the file is closed, you can turn off the autosave by unchecking the box, or if you wish for them to now be assigned to a different file, you can just choose another file from the list. To avoid a huge and cluttered inbox, most people set up saved mail folders in Outlook. These often reflect the names of the files or projects you're working on for your clients. Credenza saves your emails to much more useful versions of those files, so this task becomes redundant. However, even after being saved to a file, the emails will remain in your inbox. You can keep manually dragging them to folders if you want, or you can let Credenza organize them for you. Under the Preferences tab of the Options window, you will see a section on Inbox Control. If you select this option, Credenza will create an Outlook Saved Mail folder called Credenza Saved. Each time Credenza starts up, it will go through your inbox and move them out of your inbox and into the Credenza Saved folder. Note that it will only do this for emails that have been saved to a Credenza file, and meet the other criteria you set, so your other emails will remain in your inbox as usual. Credenza can do the same thing for your sent emails. This is especially useful, as it is so easy to forget to move emails out of Outlook's sent folder. The most important thing to do in setting up Credenza is to get your file list into it. After that, you can add information as you go along and it will build on itself. Of course, you can simply type in the names of your files, but if you have a file list electronically, you can save yourself time by importing it. To do so, select Import File Names under the Credenza menu. Use the Browse button to identify the document that has your list of files. In order for Credenza to import as much information as possible about your files, you must map the fields on the document. My document has the headings Matter Name, Matter Type, Matter ID, and Client ID. And these are read by the importer and listed in the mapping window. I will drag each label over to the name of the corresponding field. Now, just hit OK, and then hit Import Now. Now that you have Credenza set up to fit your practice and have started using the program, you'll want to know how to subscribe to the software so you can keep using it. We recommend you watch the licensing and installing tutorial next. Thanks for watching.